Hello everyone. Mordred is an open source Kemi Informatics software for calculating more than 1800 two and three dimensional descriptors. If you want to know more about this software, you can visit their seminal publication, which was published in the year 2018 in Journal of Kemi Informatics. In the previous video, I showed you how you can generate 1613 2D descriptors. The main focus of this video would be generating 3D descriptors using Modred. Let's go to the Google Notebook and see how we can utilize this Modred software for calculating various 3D descriptors. The first step is installing Modred and RD Kit. So let's go ahead and do that. After these have been successfully installed, I am importing RDKit and Modred along with the various modules which would help us in, in calculating various descriptors. I am also importing Pandas which would aid in reading and writing Excel files. TQDM will help us keep track of the progress of for loops. So let's run this code. Next, I am reading this Excel file using Pandas, which has names and smile strings of 100 alcohol molecules. Let's run this and see the first five data points. As you can see here, it has two columns. First one contains the names of the molecules and second one contains the smile strings of these molecules. If you want to know more about this data set, you can run this dot info command, which will provide you some more information about it. As you can see here, it has two columns, names and smiles, and, and there are no missing values. Now let's just go ahead and generate molecular objects from smiles with hydrogens attached. Now what I'm going to be doing here is create an empty list. Then I'm going to be looping through each smile strings. This code over here, chem.mol from smiles will convert these smiles into molecular object. Next command over here, chem.addHS will take the molecules which we have generated here and add hydrogens to it. And over here we are gonna be appending these molecules to our empty list here. Next, I am converting this mole underscore list into a data frame and concatenating it to our original data frame which contains names and smile strings. So let's run this command and see the output. Now as you can see here, now we have a data frame which contains name, smile strings and molecular objects. If you want to visualize these molecules, you can use this draw underscore moles to grid image command of RD kit, which would take argument as panda series. Here I am just visualizing the first eight molecules. So let's go ahead and run this and see how our molecules look like. So now you can see here that these are the first eight molecules and all of them have hydrogens on them. It's highly recommendable that you add hydrogens before calculating molecular descriptors because the presence or absence of hydrogens can drastically change the output values of the descriptors. In the previous video for calculating 2D descriptors, I showed you that we have a calculator class and we need to create an instance of this class and store it in a variable called calc. It takes descriptors as an argument and for calculating 2D descriptors we had turned the value of ignore underscore 3D argument to true and in this way it calculated just the 2D descriptors of the molecules. Now it is intuitive that for calculating 3D descriptors we need to change the value of ignore underscore 3D argument to false. So let's just do that and create an object and store it in a variable called calc. Let's have a look at how our calc object looks like. So it is an object of the class calculator. Now you can use this command here, calc underscore descriptors, which contains all the information about descriptor classes. Now, if you wanna print all these classes, I am just uh, running this line of code over here. And you can see in the output, we have all the classes. Each descriptor has a unique class and all of these classes have been listed here. If you want to grab the names of the descriptors, you can use this list comprehension command here and store the names in a variable called all underscore descriptor underscore names. 
here I am just printing the names of first 20 descriptors so let's run this command so these are the first 20 descriptors that we have in modern software now if we want to see the length of all these descriptors or how many descriptors are there I'm using this length command and it has given us an output of 1826 so we have around 1613 3d descriptor and 213 3d descriptors now let's just say we are interested in calculating a just a single 3d descriptor for a single molecule so what we can do here is that first we need to know which descriptor we are interested in so i am taking you to the official modred documentation on the official modred descriptor page there is a descriptor list and all the descriptors have been listed here along with the modules their names constructors dimensionality and a little description about that so since we are interested in only 3d descriptors i'm just randomly gonna look for any 3d descriptor as you can see here various 3d descriptors have been listed here so i'm just gonna grab this geometrical diameter and i'm gonna click on this constructor here so what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to copy this class of diameter and paste it over here. Now what I want to do is I want to create an instance of it since this is a class and I am storing it in a variable called dia. And then I am co calling this instance and I am providing the name of the molecule for which I want to calculate the descriptor. So let's just say we want to calculate the 3d descriptors or diameter of first molecule so let me grab the first molecule so let's just run this command and see how our output looks like now you can see here we have a missing 3d coordinate error which is which says that we are missing 3d coordinates in fact in reality if you want to generate 3d descriptors you need to have 3d geometries of the molecules but smile strings or these molecules generated from the smile strings does not contain any information about 3d descriptors so what we have to do next is generate 3d coordinates of the of the molecules using rd kit so i'm taking you to this piece of code here what i'm doing here is that generating a function called generate underscore 3d underscore coordinates which would take molecule as an argument now this is the same molecule which we generated ab above here from the smile strings of the molecules what this function will do is first generate the 3d geometries of the molecules using all chem dot embed molecule command here then optimize the molecules using all chem dot mmff optimize molecule function here uh, which optimizes the molecule using molecular force field so let me just practically show you uh, how our molecule looks like after we feed it to the generate underscore 3d underscore coordinates function so let me just comment this one out and just generate this function so now uh, what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna up here print the very first molecule which we used before for calculating the diameter now this is how our first molecule looks like now let's just feed it to our function which we just generated so this takes molecule as an argument I'm gonna copy here and paste the same molecule and run this command now let's just again see how our molecule looks like now as you can see here this is the two-dimensional structure and this is the three-dimensional structure of the molecule now this molecule has 3d coordinate information stores stored in it now since this has information about the 3d coordinates let me just run this code again which threw us an error before that we are missing 3d coordinates so i'm gonna run this and as you can see here now it has been successful in generating the three-dimensional diameter of the molecule which is 8.284 
Now next what I want to do is generate all the descriptors for the whole data set. So let me just uncomment this section. Now I already told you about this function which, which would convert the molecule into 3D. So what I'm going to do here is that generate an empty list and loop through each molecule. In the first step it will generate 3D geometries of the molecule using generate underscore 3D underscore coordinates function that we made uh, just above. Then the calc object would calculate all the descriptors of the molecule and we will append this result of the descriptor to an empty list over here. Now uh, in the end we will convert this empty list to the data frame. I also want the column names to be same as the name of the descriptors. So again I am going to be uh, running a list comprehension here. And finally, I'm going to be concatenating it to our original data set, which contains the name and smile strings. So let's run this. You can see the progress here. The code has finished running and it has taken us 20 seconds to generate 1826 2D and 3D descriptors of 100 molecules. Let's uh, have a look at the final data frame. So our final data sets looks something like that. We have the name of the molecules, smile strings and all the 1826 2D and 3D descriptors. Now I just want to check I don't have any missing values for the 3D descriptors. So I'm just randomly going to grab a 3D descriptor. Uh, from the column name. Let's have a look at gravitational index. I'm copying and pasting over here. So you can see we have numeric values over here. That means the moderate software was successful in calculating the 3D descriptors. Now, uh, just uh, in case you are wondering if I want to calculate just two or even three 3D descriptors for the whole data set, what can we do? So uh, most of the steps are same. First, we need to uh, generate this function over here, which I showed you above. Then create an instance of the descriptor classes that you are interested in. Uh, let's just say we are interested in this descriptor. So I'm going to be grabbing this class from the descriptor list. Uh, this I have already showed you this is the geometrical diameter so you what you do is create an instance of this in the next step you create an empty list followed by a for loop which will iterate through each molecule but there is one more step here that uh, you need to generate another empty list within the for loop and then this generate underscore 3d underscore coordinate would generate the 3d geometries which would be fed to this object here and they will calculate the desired descriptors and we will append these results to this desk list over here and in the end this list will be appended to the empty list over here so at the end of for loop we will have list within a list and we can convert this into data frame along with the column names and concatenating it to the uh, previous data set which contains the names and smiles would provide us the results in a tabular format. So let's run this. So now you can see we have name, smiles and just the two descriptors uh, in which we were interested. That is it for now. The code has been provided in the link in the description below. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching.